Hello everybody. Hello. It is Tuesday. How are you doing today and what are you working on? Uh, when I ask about counting scissors the other day, I hear somebody's up to over 60 pair of scissors. It would be really cool for you to pile them all in one pile and take a picture and post it on our friends page. So we are here Tuesday. Tuesday is our quilting tips. And before we get started, I want to let everybody know that the um, Kimber Bell Nativity Pillow Fabric Kits came in and are on their way back out. If you are a store pickup, you can come pick them up. If you're a ship person, they're being shipped. So they'll be going right back out the day, out today. Also, so excited. Let me see if I can get over to. Let's see, that's next year's. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can't find it fast enough. But the Navigator, yes, I've got my fabric picked. You're going to be seeing um, samples of it pretty soon. It is the Hoop Sisters Navigator. Oh, here it is, here it is. That's next year's. I don't have that one up and running yet, but we did just get the Navigator um, USBs in, so if you're going to participate with us, I'm telling you, you want, you want a challenge. It is going to be awesome. Awesome. I do not have a, I have a good picture out on the website. Here it is. Here it is. This one's kind of small. You get to pick your fabrics and colors and size. Yes, you can do anything from a five inch hoop all the way up to, or a five inch block all the way up to 10 inches. And we're going to work on those month by month. We're going to do a little bit and help you keep busy and motivated all the way through. We're starting that in November. Okay, so come on and you know you're gonna have a good time it will be a small exclusive group but you want something absolutely gorgeous this is it we use the battleizer so that's going to be your stabilizer behind it um, you can add wool batting in there too if you want you can back it as you go if you want to so we're going to you know, teach you, show you all of those things. Or you can wait till you get to the end and do your backing. So it, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Guaranteed. It's all done in the hoop. So if you want a cool project, a big project, something that's going to take a little bit of time and challenge, this is it. But don't be afraid because we will walk you through it. You know, month by month we're going to walk through it. Um, the next up, this is um, the Splendid Star. Again, a terrible picture, but I will get it out there. The Splendid Star. That is um, coming up next year. And it's going to be done a little bit differently, but we've got that coming up. So, stay tuned. Let me see. Oh, dropping everything. This afternoon, we are working on our snippets. So at 2 o'clock will be our snippet block of the month. Um, Mike just sent out the um, class invitation just a little bit ago. So if you didn't get it, don't worry. It's, it's on its way. Um, let's see. Another one, again, I just have small pictures, but... We've, um, this one you'll have see on the website soon. Merry Christmas because I just got the, the list of fabrics and I'm going to um, offer a fabric kit. The, um, you need to be able to do a 7x7. Seven seven. Okay, a 6x10 hoop's not going to be big enough. 7x7 seven seven or larger. Um, and the um, finished project, I think. I think, I think, I think it's like 14 by 30 or something like that. But more details are coming on that one really soon. I got to figure out the, the fabrics. Um, let me see. What else have we done? I've got all the kits cut for next month. 
So Mike's busy. If you're getting um, shipping notices and you say, man, I didn't order anything. Well, the dealer digital exclusives, I sent those kits with him yesterday or today. So he's got those going out. Your um, table runner for next month, as well as your Kimber Bell Cuties. Now, please note that those dates for the classes are coming up sooner because we will be out from October 6th and won't return back till the 24th, which is the Deck the Palms. We'll have access to email. We'll still be able to answer your questions. You will absolutely, totally be able to order and get things shipped to you. We just won't have the shop open for browsing. But you can browse on our website anytime. And you know if you send an email and ask for something, we'll direct you to it. So we'll still help you out so that you'll be able to get the things that you need. So because of that, next week, yeah, on Tuesday the 3rd, we are having our last dime quilt as you go event of the year. This is our shop and learn shop so you can shop and take advantage of sales and discounts. We know you love that. Learn something new and get a free design. So the girls and guys at um, Dime, Eileen Roche and her crew are going to do that and it's quilt as you go. Another way of quilting in with your embroidery machine. Who doesn't want to do that? I know I'm going to be happy to be there. So I hope that you guys will join us. It is on Tuesday. It's from 12 p.m. East Coast time. All of our classes are East Coast. 12 p.m. till 1.30. But if you can't make it, you know, you can't get off at lunchtime or whatever, you can't be there. <clears throat> you can, you'll have um, like 48 hours to take advantage of the, the sale. And there's promotions um, depending on there's, um, I think, well, discounts because they have things on sale and certain amount they put extra stuff in and then they have free shipping. So those are all advantages and things that you can take care of. So that's coming on Tuesday the 3rd. Then Thursday will be our DDE and that is going to be the bat. Yeah. So we sent him out. This is for everybody that loves Halloween and wants to get a head start on it. This is our cute little bat. And this month there's some extra little goodies in your, um, your pack. This is the bat. You've got the fabric to make the wide mouth. So there's a wide. Both of them I think are done, still done in the 5 by 7 hoop. But you can do the wide mouth or a regular, you know, the smaller one. And in your kit, I picked a different purple fabric, but there's purple fabric. There is, well here, I think I can show you. In your kit, you have purple fabric. I think this is mine. Yours may not be the same. It depends on what purple fabric I happen to have. Um, you know, most of you purchased the um, felt and the embellishment kits for the year. If you didn't, don't worry, it has felt. So we're gonna have this um, felt, the granite felt in there. I even cut, now believe me, I cut all these pieces so that you have a piece of the foam, which normally is not included, but we did it for this month. If you don't have some, you know, it gives you a chance to try it. And then the design calls for a little piece of so when you open it up, be careful because there's a little piece of this black permanent stabilizer. So that's going to be in there as well. So you get to try those, kind of try those little products. So that kit is out. You will be um, ready to stitch that out on Thursday. It's a fun project, but we're going to do that on Thursday. Now, let me see. Kimberbell Cuties. This is why we were getting all of this stuff done. Kimberbell Cuties. Let me grab that one. It's not going to be that difficult to figure it out. But the Kimberbell Cuties kit is out and on its way. 
um, because the Kimberbell Cutie class, because Halloween, and we don't want to, you know, have you wait, although if you're like me, Halloween will come and go, and I will still have it halfway done. The Kimberbell Cuties is going to be on the 4th, so it's going to be on Wednesday. I switched up the fabrics a little bit, but it's going to be on Wednesday, okay? So you're going to have your Kimberbell Cutie class next week, so while we're gone, we're not missing out on anything. Alright, then the other one... So, and for those of you that think on Mondays I have nothing to do, <laughs> so funny. Um, those of you that are doing the table runner, give thanks. This one we have scheduled for the 27th of October. Now, I am trying, you'll have your kit, you'll have your, um, your designs and everything. Again, those are going to be sent out, and I'm trying to get together to get the, um, my little set of instructions for you so that like the class you'll have it early if you want to work on it if you want to wait until the 27th that's fine because we'll have it that day and um, you know we'll be able to sew it together so we have that um, the deck the palms little spark event Let me, okay that's this little guy right here Okay, our deck the palms. This is the little one. This is the project. And what I want to tell you is it's um, on the 24th, so that's our first day back. I'm already, see, I've already got the stuff done. And we're going to have our, um, our class, but what I want you to know is if you want to get the bonuses, and I think, I think, I think, oh, I do have it. This is the question that you guys all asked me, and they did send me a flyer. So here, here are the bonus designs for that. So these are the bonus designs that you can get if you make the, you know, you spend the hundred dollars in the Kimberbell um, products at the event. Not, but you don't have to do it before, but during the event, we won't run out you'll be qualify for the six designs and look at that the red white and bloom uh, the little um, champagne bottle um, the little be mine the happy birthday so there's six different designs and they all come in the five by seven and eight by twelve sizes so you get them in all the sizes now one of the things that you can use to um, qualify is See this little bag, little cinch bag? Those are being shipped out um, this week to us. You don't have to get them ahead of time. You can get them during the event. But if you want to make more of these, I mean, the bags are already done. All we have, we're just going to, you know, embroider on one side. You could put something on the back if you want. Then all we have to do is sew it together. And you've got a great little gift bag for, you know, for Christmas or any other occasion. And also, if you want to make these little guys, the zippers are going to come in a pack of, I think it's five. I think it's five. But they've got them packaged so that you don't have to just buy one zipper. You say, well, you know, they're going to come pre-packed with, a, you know, a number of the zippers. So, you know, you, if you want to make more of these with the glitter, the zippers, and that kind of stuff. And your glitter that comes with it, you know, is more than enough to, um, you know, you use, this was like a quarter of a teaspoon, and I could probably use less. That's what it called for. Could have used less. You have more than enough. Can I find it? Yeah, here's my little bag of it. So I can make many, many more of those for, um, you know, for holiday gift giving. So keep that in mind. We have a couple more um, kits or a couple more um, you know, places for class if you want to take the class. Remember, our classes are all um, on Zoom. I use Zoom. I record it. And if you can't be there, you get the recording, which is just like being in the class where everything, you know, where we do everything. So we make it, um, you know, being there is always more fun because you get to, 
talk to other people and you know that kind of thing but if you can't be there you've got the opportunity to um, you know still be able to um, you know to participate in, in your time okay so wanted to share that okay and oh yes oh yes the wicked wonder vinyl applique kit all of you that love Halloween look at this this is our dime product I know it isn't it's embroidery but I didn't want anybody to miss out on it it has the scissor heat transfer vinyl that's the vinyl that once you can embroider and or applique and you do that last satin stitch where you've got it all satin stitched around you can pull it away you don't have to do the trimming you can actually pull it away it's really cool and if you purchase this you get the free des um, download design so you get a design as well this comes with is it four pieces of one two three four yeah you get the light green the purple the black and the copper um, 12 by 12 sheets so you get four sheets plus look at the thread you get the metallic orange you get purple black and the fluorescent green so it's really a, a cool pack good value for your money if, um, if you're interested and I don't know if they'll have them and if they'll be on sale on Tuesday um, on Tuesday when we do our dime event since it's a quilt event I don't know what um, you know what things they include on their promotions okay so wanted to share those things so that kind of brings everybody up to date and you know what it'll be September it's October and November will be here way before you know it so um, Navigator we're going to start in November I'm working on um, the one for next year which is going to be really really cool and then I'm also working on the truck the Merry Christmas so um, it takes about a total of two yards of fabric give or take because you've got to have your back background and your back fabric and um, all of these other little pieces. So I'm putting together, a, um, I will put together fabric kits if people want those. Okay, so Tuesday quilting tips. The first thing that you need when you're quilting, of course, is you need fabric. Yes, we have to do fabric. And so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit, share a couple things with you. Um, Moda, United Notions Moda, is one of the first ones that came out with, I guess, the pre-cuts. It's what they, um, you know, their, their claim to, to fame. Um, they call them layer cake charm packs and layer cakes, um, jelly rolls, mini charms, They've got those trademarks, so other companies, including when we make cuts, they're all called pre-cuts, but we can't call them those official names. Uh, they call the 10 inch, yeah, there is one over there. Okay, so this is a 10 inch, and it's a 10 inch, um, it, it, it's usually like an entire collection, which, you know, sometimes we have the fabrics to go with it. Um, you know the same ones and sometimes we have um, different things but the collection will have a theme this one's on the go it's just one I happen to pick up out of the stack that I have here so it's all transportation and then there's some solid colors and some other stuff in it but a layer cake is 10 inch squares and there are 40 or 42 42 okay so they keep the standard they're 42 so you've got 42 in your layer cake a layer cake this is a charm pack charm packs are five inch well look at that 10 inch five inch so a layer cake can actually be cut down into four times you know four charm packs that's a lot of charms because the charm packs have 42 in them as well so charm packs are five inch squares and we've talked and shown you know a few things that you can do with them which you could do the same thing with this doing your half square triangles they would just be a whole lot larger well then we can go down even smaller let me open this one. 
<clears throat> and we have same number 42 so it's like baby bear mama bear daddy bear right so two and a half two and a half two and a half is a five inch so then they have the mini charms these could be made into a lot of little you know a lot of little things so on the back which is really cool um, how to slice a layer cake so if you wanted to this is what you can do you know with patterns and with a layer cake you can make four four inch circles you can cut it into two by ten inch strips if you want to make it kind of look like a brick or to do a was it called a, a split rail uh, you can cut it down into three by threes you have a little bit left over if you you know if you wanted to do three by threes you can always cut them in diagonal to make um, half square triangles you can split it up and cut five you know two um, charm packs and then look at all those mini charms you can cut it and make um, eight four inch half square triangles you can cut it twice and make four eight and a half inch triangles so you can just cut it into force and you've got four little charm packs so um, this is just on the back of the, the package really you know really cool a lot of fun stuff um, we even have what they call some recipe cards which um, you know, I've demoed before, I'll have to de demo again, but the recipe cards where um, it's paper and you stitch, you know, these out on the paper and you get a quilt really fast. So we have that. Okay, so, so the other thing that Moda then has is a jelly roll. Who doesn't like a jelly roll? And what is a jelly roll? Well, a jelly roll, and you've seen different quilts and stuff that is two and a half inch strips and they're cut there's 42 I do believe if we stuck with the number 42 I think so usually in jelly rolls not always but usually in a jelly roll there's two of each color and they'll make them where it goes through the whole collection or it's um, kind of like variations of it this is um, this particular one is all batiks but they come in all the different you know all the different types and your solids your grunge your grunge so then the next one down from this they call a honey bun and that is half they're like one and i think one and a half one and a half inch strips so they're half of the these are two and a half maybe they're one and a quarter but anyway they're thinner strips still and these strips are the length or the width of the fabric so that's a couple different um you know different things there what i wanted to show you and this is one that a lot of people kind of get stuck on just wanted to talk to you about it for a few minutes is um choosing your fabric okay that's always the hardest part and I'll tell you, the first time I had to choose fabric for a sampler in the middle of the store, I could almost have a panic attack. And I'm serious about that because I see all of this beautiful fabric and there's big prints, small prints, solids, and all kinds of things. And I had this little voice in my head, and I bet you a bunch of you do too, if you stop and think about it. And it was my mother, and she was reminding me as a kid that stripes and plaids don't go together you can't wear you know you can't put together two prints you can't wear polka dots and stripes and you know two different flowers and you know all this kind of stuff so I really had a hard time the first time then after that not so much I got the hang of it and had a good time when you're doing something let's see I'm just going to show this one to you what's this one called feng shui this is just out of a book that I have on my bookshelf, Fat Quarter Fun. And these are just some pictures of Fat Quarters. Fat Quarter bundles are fun to pick up at shops too when you're out at shopping because you can get them. Uh, they'll come in different sizes, not 
you know there may only be eight or six or twelve or you know something like that or you can go through the shops and pick up your own fat quarters and create a bundle but this particular um, you know page and article is on choosing fabric what I want you to notice on that is that background fabric is not just one color you know when you need a background fabric you say well I gotta have how many yards do I need to do the background you don't always have to have exactly the same in fact it gives it more movement and activity if you have you know if you're looking for a white background mix up with tone on tones some tones white on white um, cream color, uh, a little bit of taupe, maybe a little light gray, you could even do light yellow or blue. You can see all those colors in here. You don't want something that's a strong contrast, but if you do that and something happens along the way that you run out of fabric, you're not having a meltdown because I ran out of that white fabric and I bought it three years ago and I can't get any more. Exactly. So that's what I tell people, mix it up a little bit. You know, mix up so that it's not all exactly the same piece of fabric. Now with this one, you'll notice that you have, you know, the, the muted tones in the back. They're not all the same, but you've got those. And then you pick one that's the tri, you know, the, um, your pinwheels, those were all, basically the same or the same dark so you've got all the light color fabrics and you can do it wouldn't have to be all the same fabric again if you run out you don't have to panic you just mix it up a little bit and you get something that's um, close has a little bit of design in it so don't freak out when you run out of fabric and you try to go back to the store and they don't have it anymore because I'll tell you unless it is a um, a basic you know our basics like our Bella solids most of our grunges our dots um, some of the little star lights and you know those fabrics that are basics that we can reorder the other ones when they're you know we order way far ahead like what I order now is some maybe fall the rest of it will fall if I'm lucky, some of us now, most of it doesn't come till after the first of the year. And it may even be into February, March to spring. And as soon as Christmas comes, they're already in the shop wanting me to order for next Christmas. So like six months in advance is when we, you know, we order the fabrics. So don't be afraid to mix it up a little bit so that you don't have to have exactly the same thing. Even this one, I don't know if you can see it, but if I hold that up, I think you can. See that it's got the yellow for the, the stars. It's a little more um, muted, but look at those blues. Again, there's some blue with some dots in it, some stars, some light, the yellow in the background. So, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, ask for help and pick something out like that so that, um, you know, everything's not exactly the same. Okay, so I have rambled on enough, given you enough information. I do have class at two. I hope everybody has a great afternoon. I don't know if um, anyone has any comments or questions. Let me see. Okay, I see Grand Jenny. Have you, do you ever receive more of the white grunge sparkle fabric? It's not here yet, Kathy. It was back ordered. It is coming. I ordered two bolts. As soon as it gets here, um, I ordered the, I think I ordered another red one because it came in gray, green, red, white, and blue. And I ordered the blue and the white, uh, but it was back ordered. So as soon as we get it, I will let everybody, we'll let everybody know. Um, okay, so Sarah's, let me see, hello Grand Jenny, trying to catch and see if there's any messages on here before I let you guys all go. Okay, well make it a great afternoon, you know you can always reach us, 
During the day from 10 to 3, if you've got a shipping or inventory or an order question, you are much better off to um, call the shop and talk to Mike and or Rita because they're at the shop. I don't know who's, order, uh, who's ordered what. I don't know when things are shipped. Um, and if you email it and he doesn't catch it, it will be the next day because I'm trying when he comes home not to make him go back on the computer all evening. Um, if it's after time, then yes, you can email or text or, you know, whatever. Texting to the shop phone is not a good idea because I don't know how well they check the text. It's much better to post the message here on our um, Facebook. I do monitor that as well as if you send emails, I catch those and we respond you know, as quickly as we can. Sometimes we can answer it pretty quick. Sometimes, you know what guys, it'll be the next day before we can um, get back to you. So if you've got orders and things that's being held or picked up, I think everything's ready for um, events unless there was something that was back ordered. And those, as soon as the stuff comes in, you know Mike sends them out right away. But if it's between 10 and 3, call and, and, and ask them because he'll be, it's much easier for him. He's got all that information right there. So some of you I will see at 2. The rest of you, I will catch up with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock and hopefully, let's see, a gadget. Hmm. Well, we'll have gadgets or Mike. I'm not sure which. We'll see uh, what he's got for us this week. So we'll see you tomorrow at 1.